On average, Americans own just under one acre of land. Now, for years, Ted Turner was America's biggest landowner with just under two million acres. But move over, Ted. There's a new number one in town. Media mogul John Malone recently vaulting to the top spot after he bought a bunch of acres up in Maine. Joining us now, Eric O'Keefe, editor-in-chief of The Land Report. We got a new number one. Uh, do you think Ted Turner is going to take this sitting down and try to vault back up? And why is John Malone owning two million acres of land? Eric. Brian, John's had a long history of uh, conservation and stewardship. He, you know, TCI and Liberty Media are based in, in Denver, and that's where he started, and he acquired half a million acres there, okay? So that's a, an enormous amount for that Rocky Mountain state. Just last year, he made a big acquisition when he bought the Bell Ranch in New Mexico. That was the biggest acquisition of 2010 in New Mexico. But to pick up a million acres in Maine, it's, it's interesting. When you look at it from the deal-making perspective, Brian, he began looking for this property. He, uh, he tasked Gary Balco to look for this property at Landvest over a year ago. And Gary and his team started, team of foresters, started looking for different tracks that would meet Malone's specifics. And a year later, they closed on this approximately $100 million transaction for a million acres. What does one do with 2.2 million acres? You run a You're lot of cattle. You're not walking the fence. You, I know that. <laughs> you don't drive it. You've got to fly it. You definitely need a private plane to fly it because he has got enough timberland there. And that's one of the reasons that he purchased this property is it had significant contracts already in place for producing timber. GMO Renewables, which had owned the property before, and I want to point out, I think it's fascinating, Brian, that this, this tract of land was not on the market. The guys at uh, Landvest went and, and looked to meet the specifics and actually found that this was a possible purchase. They looked at it more closely and it met Malone's specifics as far as having good cash flow, good management, mm -hmm. good contracts in place, and, and that's why he jumped on it. Okay, we just showed your list, Eric, so we've no one and two. John Malone now number one, Ted Turner number two. Numbers three and four, and really five, are names that are probably not household names, unlike Turner and Malone. Who's Red Emerson? Red in uh, Southern uh, Sierra Pacific Industries uh, out in California, it's that whole swath of land. He's a, a timber producer from North California up into the Cascades. He's been a force in the timberland area up there for decades, going back to the 40s. And that's more of the typical model that you see when someone is a large landowner. It is a timber owner or a rancher. Um, Brad Kelly coming along the Irving family also, another large timber owner, but they're on the East Coast and they're going to be neighbors of Malone's in Maine. They have actually more acreage there, 1.2 million acres. And Brad Kelly is, of course, uh, he made a, a, a lot of money in tobacco and he sold his Commonwealth brands and he's extremely passionate, again, a steward of the land who's passionate about uh, endangered species and he's been actually repopulating and developing endangered species on his holdings yeah. in florida and in texas eric i know you do a great job there at the land report next time we'll have you on we'll talk about some of these monstrous ranch sales you were telling me about ninety million dollar ranches truly interesting stuff for the half that that at least i can't speak for you that i know i'll never own <laughs> eric o'keefe at the land report thank you